Hi, I welcome you all to the Crypto Singh show and my name is Gunpreet Singh and I welcome you all to the show. Please do like, share, subscribe. And what's happening in the Bitcoin market? Well, the markets are pumping. Of course they are pumping. Well, why they are pumping? We'll get to it in a minute. And uh, from my opinion, why it's pumping is because of the Fed, of course. And uh, well, if you don't know, let me explain you this. What has Fed said? So Fed has increased the rate by 0.25%, which was expected around 0.5 or 0.75%, which would have meant that uh, scare in inflation, a scare in recession. So for now, that scare is is gone, but it's just temporary. I feel because I do see that the inflation is really going high. So whatever the Fed is doing right now to control the economy, they could only do it by 0.25%. Everyone was expecting a 0.5 or a 0.75%. In my opinion, markets still to me, they look bearish. I don't see that we are going to see a huge pump right now. I, you, I mean, I, I could be wrong. I'm not a financial advisor. You can do your own research. But right now, what I feel that we might uh, like touch 42 and then come back down because 42 is a resistance and 40,400 is a is an area of support right now but I still think that we might go down till 38 again we might touch 30s so before we move on ahead please do like share subscribe so around 30s I definitely see the bottom is pretty much in for the Bitcoin market but right now i don't think that bottom is exactly in i still think that there is a bit of uh, more uh, space or to go down and once we go down further that is where i would think that the bottom would be coming in but I, as of now i see around 30 around the levels of 30s there is a certain bit of bottom being formed and uh, but it still could go to the early 30s or even you know higher 20s so we could probably at this point of time also see that uh, you know the bottom being formed around that area but again 35,000 and above has again and again been proved as a good area where the buying has been happening so wherever whenever we see the prices going down there the prices are again pumping up to 42,000 40,000 trying to maintain sustain above 40,000 so right now i think we are in a kind of a zone where it's between 38000 to 48000 and we're just bouncing here back and forth so it's right now i think we're in a range bound now that's what it seems like the market seems so we need to break one of the uh resistance or the support we could either break 42 or we could break 38 but for now i think we might go back to 38 and uh, touch the resistance and again see that what's happening because this pump was mainly due to the uh, fed so let's jump into the charts and before we do please do like share subscribe and going into the charts let's see what we have in the charts today now see i've already explained you everything but just to show you on the charts this is where i think 42000 would be the resistance again 39500 is where we're getting a bit of support and uh, so 40800 is where we are right now so i personally think see this it went up to 41800 and then it pulled back so i still think 42000 would be hard to break and 38,500 again we are looking at before that 39,500 so this is kind of a range bound that's happening now and uh, I think this is pretty much the range that we are bouncing in between you know 38,000 kind of a thing to 42,000 we are going back and forth into this so we either need to break up or we need to break down so let's see what happens but I do see around 30,000s it is something a good buying area is a good buying zone and uh, you should start DCing in on under 40,000 I've been always saying that and 38,000 37,000 are proving to be very strong points for now so let's see what happens let's see what the market does please do your own research I'm not a financial advisor thank you so much and please do like share subscribe take care bye bye